Waterford, where the pro-life group has announced that it's to set up a creche for single parents. This facility will be at the disposal of unmarried mothers, widows and widowers, and deserted parents. The pro-life group has bought a house in the city, and the creche will be open from Monday to Friday, funded by a small grant from the Southeastern Health Board and voluntary subscriptions. Paulie Gokira has been talking to Mrs. Margaret Ahern, secretary of the Waterford pro-life group. He asked her if she felt that the opening of this creche would see an end to the divisions which surfaced during the recent referendum. We would hope that they would anyhow. I mean, we had no intention of maintaining any divisions that did arise during the course of the referendum. But the one thing I would like to point out was that here in Waterford, this um, creche, if you like, that the blueprint for this creche was in vogue ever before the referendum itself took place. We've been working on it for, we'll say, at least 18 months. And why is it starting now? Well, it's like everything else. It takes time. As they say, big bodies move slowly. And uh, we had to await things like planning permission. And after that, then, we had to try and get finance to do up the house that we bought. How, how many single parents and how many uh, parents generally will this uh, crash cater for? Well, we would hope up to 20 children. You know, it, it's, it's not a very big house. It was only what we could afford. And, uh, but we would hope to be able to facilitate at least 20 children. At the time of the referendum itself, many opponents of the referendum made the point that as soon as it was over and as soon as it was passed, that uh, the pro-life movement generally would forget all about the problems of single parents. Yes, it was one of the things that used to annoy me actually during the course of the referendum because I knew that we here in Waterford were working on the crash, but we did have to set it aside a little bit while the referendum was taking place. But it used to really annoy me at that time to hear people say that we were only sort of sanctimonious hypocrites and that we would clap ourselves on the back as soon as the referendum was over and say that our work was done. And we don't feel that way at all. In fact, um, this is why we are so interested in getting this crash started as soon as possible. Well, recent events elsewhere in the country might be uh, pointed to by certain people to say that uh, Irish attitudes to single parents and to single pregnancy haven't changed all that much despite the referendum. Well, again, I can't answer for individuals, but I feel that um, nowadays people are far less um, inclined to, um, shall we say, downgrade the single parent, and that they are much more inclined to help and give as much help as they possibly can. I mean, after all, it could happen to any of us. Well, single parents who might have supported your stance during the referendum campaign, do you think that th they will avail of the uh, crash facilities and uh, will they be encouraged to do so? Oh, I should think so. I mean, I don't know how anybody voted during the referendum. And it's immaterial as to those who use it. I mean, we have, we are opening this crash to help people in need. And it doesn't matter to us whether they did support us during the referendum or not. Mrs. Margaret Ahern. And